kind of go through in two, in two kind of uh, different chapters and then try to, try, try to wrap up. So the first is uh, Fishing is Tragedy of the Commons. And I kind of uh, start with um, a biblical quote here. And Simon answered, Master, we have fished all night and caught nothing. Not, not because I'm a proselytizer or anything. It's just I'll, I'll explain the, 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 the significance in, in, in a moment. Um, but so fishing looks like the perfect scam, right? It really looks, I mean, at, at, from 30,000 feet, it looks like you harvest free money. You can be 1,000 miles away from the scene of your crime. You get everything you need online. There's no capital outlay, no training, and anybody can do it. I mean, what could be possibly better? Except the problem with the whole activity is concealed in that, in that last line. Anybody can do it. And if anybody can do it, well, everybody does it. And if everybody does it, nobody makes any money. That's really, that's a very, very simple economic insight, but that's, that's, really, that's really what it, um, what it comes down to. So, so it turns out, when I started to look at this and try to figure out, you know, you know are people making money at, 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 at fishing? Um, see, whoever chose the name fishing with a PH um, for the illegal activity where people lure others into giving away their password seems to have chosen well because it actually bears a lot in common with the economics of fishing, that is, the real discipline where people were, you know, men go to, to, to sea on trawlers and come back with haddock and salmon and, and, and stuff like that. Both of predator-prey dynamics, the prey is either fish or, 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 or dollars. Um, the predator is either the fisherman or the fishers. And the reason I, I stuck the, um, the, the biblical quote at the top is that one thing you might notice is that you've pretty much never heard about a really wealthy fisherman. You've heard about really wealthy soldiers. You've heard about really wealthy farmers. You've heard about really wealthy merchants. Fishermen seem always to be poor. That was true in the Eastern Mediterranean 2,000 years ago. It's true on the coast of Maine today. And it was true at pretty much all points and all times in between. Fishing is not a really good activity. Why? Why? What is it that's different about, say, being a fisherman that's different from being a farmer or being a merchant or anything else? And the thing, the fundamental difference, and econom economists have looked at this very, very well, um, and it's, it's the thing that drives fish stocks into exhaustion you know, pretty much all over the world, is that you have open access to the resource. That is, it means there's no barrier to entry. Anyone who wants to fish the open seas can fish the open seas once they have the equipment. They just go out there and do it. There's no one who gets to say, and, and that's one of the reasons that we have things like fishery regulations that restrict catches and stuff, because if you don't, what happens is people fish things to exhaustion. Once you have open access to the resource, the resource will be abused and exhausted by, 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 by all those who have access to it. So open access to the resource, no barrier. That means anyone who wants to fish can exploit, um, which gives rise to what's known as the tragedy of the commons. That is to say, it's a shared, re it's a shared resource. Um, no, one has, no one has responsibility, or even though there's a, a communal interest in husbanding the resource, no one has the individual responsibility of doing so. And individual actors making their best, their best choice um, decisions end up destroying the resource on which all of them depend. So a fishing ground ends up you know, yielding far more than it is capable of. And I believe that fishing as an activity, this illegal activity, yields far fewer dollars than is actually possible. And it's actually very far from being the remunerative activity that, pe that people think it is. So let me just show you graphically in a kind of a cartoon fashion what I'm talking about. And then I'll, I'll do it a tiny bit more formally. But I mean, so basically. I mean, fishing is just a quick lesson in competition. What's your return? Well, it's the number of victims divided by the number of fishers. So let's, let's you know, imagine ourselves here on the top where someone, you know, one or two people discover fishing. And here's, here's your opportunity. That's the fish, and you have two guys doing it. So they each get this amount. Well, this is so good, and it's so profitable, and it's so better than the other activities that these guys have available to them that other people notice, or they tell their friends, and more people start doing it. Well, with a fixed pool of resources, just, it just gets divided among an increasing number of participants, so it goes down. And as you get more and more people, it goes down and down and down. And that's so far so obvious. With, with a fixed pool of resources, with an increasing number of people who want in on the action, and which is going to continue so long as that opportunity is better than the alternative opportunities available to them, it just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. But it actually gets worse, because in fishing, with an F, where, where, where people are going after haddock and salmon and stuff, stuff the, um, the denominator here is increasing as more and more people pile into it. What's going on with the numerator? Well, the problem is, is that the, it's not a fixed pool of resources. This, the numerator itself shrinks 
as a result of the activity of the people piling into the resorts. The more people you have trying to extract salmon from the Atlantic, the less salmon you have in the Atlantic. Sooner or later, you start to harvest more than the growth rate of the population. So what happens then is you start to shrink, you start to shrink the population with an increasing, so you have a shrinking numerator with an increasing denominator, which is just about the worst dynamic that you can possibly have in any, in any business proposition whatsoever. So graphically, that's, that's essentially what I'm trying to um, illuminate. The average return for fishers is, is in the number of victors divided by the number of fishers, numerator decreasing, denominator increasing, worst place you could possibly be. OK, that's just what I said um, on the last slide. Why is the denominator increasing? Well, free money, free money, free money. Everybody wants in, so more and more people go chasing after it. Numerator is decreasing. Why? The main reason the numerator is decreasing is because the denominator is increasing. Is that in, when fishing with the pH, where we're seeking free money, is that, well, when people have noticed that there are, um, that there is this illegal activity called fishing. So there are technical countermeasures. So believe it or not, successfully, some of the time, companies like Microsoft and Yahoo and Google make efforts to protect our customers. Banks, believe it or not, do deploy fraud detection, which is you know, successful some of the time. And users learn. No one is going to get fished 10 times. You might get fished once. You might get fished perhaps twice. But I don't really believe that, it's, you know, that many people are going to be fished 10 times. So the increasing activity in the numerator is itself is itself a cause of of um, I'm sorry the increasing activity in the denominator is itself a cause of of of, of uh, um, decreasing the numerator 